Welcome back everybody, Matt the back here, hope you're all doing well. So Monday, we got a special announcement from Dwayne The Rock Johnson himself, announcing that they're making a Moana live action film. Moana is the Disney original animated film, came out in 2016, as you saw that movie in theaters, I own the film, it's also on Disney Plus. And it's actually a really good movie. I think it's a little too long. Almost two hours. For an Aunt Disney animated film. Don't know why. Um, but I think in the... In the Disney animation, beautifully animated. You know, The Rock's voice is great. And Maui. The Demigod. Uh, Moana, the girl. I forget the... I know the name of the, girl, the actress. I just can't pronounce it. Um, she's also from Hawaii, so both The Rock and her. Um, and like I said, The Rock, then they are making a live action. One, one article said remake, one article said reimagining. So, how do I feel about this? I guess that's the main question here. I have two thoughts. One is positive, one is negative. And here's, let me start out with the negative. You know, why not? And they're just doing a straight up remake of the animated film. And then that's a bad idea. And number one is the movie just came out, what? Six years ago, seven years ago? The movie's not even ten years old yet. Uh it won't even mean ten for another three and a half years. Um I know Disney is in the in the uh, business of uh, remaking their animated films into live action, but it might be too soon to do this. And I'll I'll also say I'm not against remaking it. Don't 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 misunderstand what I'm saying here. In fact, not too, when they announced that How to Train Your Dragon was going to be turned into a live-action film from DreamWorks. I actually did a podcast that I actually never put up. I shot it, but I never put it up. That I went through, I, it was about what other animated films would be perfect for the live-action treatment. And I went through Disney movies, Pixar films, DreamWorks, you know, the whole nine yards. And one of them I said was Moana. I said Moana is a perfect movie to make into live action. And in fact, I went back last night and watched the original Moana again, and half of that, the first half of that movie, is pretty much all human actors. You know? Yeah, you got the pig and you got the chicken, but you can, you can either get a real pig or a real chicken, or a CGI pig and a chicken. Luckily, they don't talk, so... There you was know, really human characters. So, and then then you end like the second half of the movie where you do have, you know, the crabs and then the the giant crab and whatever. But for the most part, it's humans, human characters. Um, so right there, it would be perfect for live action. And also, the whole movie deals with global warming and. Uh, how we take care of the earth and dying because of us. So it is a good movie for a good message. So it is a perfect movie for live action. I'm not going to deny that. And it would be a perfect movie for a remake live action. But not right now. One thing, I'm not saying the movie's coming out today. The movie's not even going to come out next year. The movie probably won't even come out until 2025. Which will mean nine years since the last, since the original. But no, that's only nine years. Nine years goes like that when you're old. Um, but the thing is, one, I said one article says it's a remake. And The Rock is going to come back and play that role. Which is something you don't see in remakes. Other than if you're the Lion King, you bring back James Earl Jones, you do the voice of Mufasa. And let me tell you something. That did not work. At all. And you know why? 
He became the young and a lot older than he was back in 1990. What? Four? 95? <laughs> and you tell him the voice of Mufasa was not the same voice as Mufasa, even though it was the same actor. But at least with The Rock, he's still in great shape. Same voice. So him coming in and playing the main role again, or side role, co-star, you know, the character of Maui, that would work. Now, this is where I say this would be a positive. Because on one hand, one article says it's a remake. Another article says it's a reimagining. And here's, here's the big... This is why this could work. And they're doing a reimagining of Moana. And what I mean by the either they can take the elements of the original and put them in there, but the character of Moana will not be the age of the girl in the animated film. It would have to be older, and here's why. Some articles are saying the original actress who did the voice of Moana, she's been in a lot of other... Since Moana, that was her big breakout. She's been in shows on NBC, she's done some Hulu movies on Hulu, she's done some movies on Netflix, and right now she currently has a show on Amazon with Tony Collette called The Power, The Powers, and just premiered last Friday on Amazon. So the actress is getting work. Um, she also was the main, she played um, Ariel the Little Mermaid in that um, on on air musical live action Broadway stage thing of The Little Mermaid a couple of years ago. Uh, so she's been acting. She's been getting work, but she is currently twenty two, almost twenty three years old, which means even by the time this movie comes out, she'll probably be more like twenty five. Moana, is, I think, is supposed to be like a young teenager, a young girl. Now, this actress is already almost in her mid-twenties, and they are bringing her back to play the live-action Moana in live-action. Then, obviously, they're going to obviously have to tweak the story and reimagine the story a little bit in order to fit more of a 22-year-old than a, you know, 13, 14-year-old, let's say. Which then begs the question, when they say reimagining, is it actually a sequel to Moana, but in live action? That would be something different. That would be something they haven't done before, where they took an animated film, decided to make a sequel, but instead make it live action. And you still bring them out in two original actors, The Rock, and then the actor that actually did the voice of Moana, coming back for the live action role. That to me, that right there, when, I mean, I enjoy the first Moana. I'll be interested to see what they do. You know, when, if people remember back in the early 2000s, you gotta go way back, like over 20 years ago, Disney made that Disney and Channel original movie, Rip Girls, with uh, Camille Bell, Camille Bell, um, as the lead role. That was in that was in Hawaii, same place that Moana is set in, um, probably the same island. Uh, so, what is it? And they're doing a straight up remake. I think it's a little too early. It's not even ten years old yet, and they're doing a reimagining sequel to the original, bringing back the original actor that played Moana who's in her mid-twenties now, and The Rock, then that will be something interesting. Something different than the typical, we're just going to make a, a live-action remake of the original animated film, and it's going to be pretty much sh shot for shot, other than a few like Aladdin and, you know, uh, The Jungle Book. Uh, the animated live action movie that have been up and down, up and down. And we're gonna get two more. We're gonna get one this month with Peter and Wendy, the Peter Pan movie. That's gonna be on Disney Plus. That looks really good. 
And then, of course, the next month we got The Little Mermaid. So, you know, Disney is in the making of making their animated film in a live action. And this has been up and down. So, maybe they do have something interesting from Moana. This is really not that old. And once again, the other thing is, if Moana is a hit, this live action film, I, I, I want to bet you Frozen. Frozen is on the cards for live action. It is. I imagine the brother not making a Frozen film first live action. Then you Moana. But I guess since they're doing Frozen 3, they're gonna push a live action movie in the back for now. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this Moana live action film. Would you rather have a straight up remake? I mean, they knew they gotta recast, you know, younger actors to play Moana. Or do you want, would you like almost like a, a sequel to Moana, but in live action with the original stars besides just The Rock, but the same actors that did the voice of Moana returning? Let me know in the comments below, Matt, in the back here.